In today's video, I'm going to give you an overview, quick review of the Aroma Cup personal coffee maker. Or the Aroma Cup, really? Thanks, Brian. Now we're making coffee makers. All right, let's do that again. Kitchen Aid. All right. <clears throat> Hey everyone, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. In today's video, I'm going to give you a quick overview and a review of the KitchenAid Personal Coffee Maker. A very cool single serve-ish machine. And I say ish because it can actually make enough coffee I've found for about two people and it's a drip style machine. So it doesn't use pods or anything along those lines, it uses regular ground coffee, and uh, it's got a focus on being able to brew a cup of coffee and then just get out the door. So if you're looking for something that's going to brew drip co coffee and uh, still give you sort of some single serve ease, I think this is going to be a good way to do it. Let's dive in and talk about the KitchenAid Personal Coffee Maker. So first off, let's talk about what's in the box uh, with the KitchenAid Personal Coffee Maker. Now, first off, you have the machine itself, of course. Uh, now, it's red, and it has a lot of brushed uh, aluminum, which I really like. It's got this very kind of stylish look. It's definitely tall, um, but it's very slim, so it doesn't take up a lot of space on your countertop, which I really like. So you get the machine. You get a KitchenAid-branded tumbler, which is also kind of cool. Uh, it has this silicone wrap on the outside. It's brushed aluminum completely on the, on the outside as well. And then it has a simple plastic removable lid. This is where you're going to brew your coffee. That just sits right underneath the brew basket right here. And then finally, you get your instruction booklet. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, this machine doesn't exactly have a lot of bells and whistles, so you may not necessarily need this too much, especially after you watch our video right here today. Let's talk about the features on the KitchenAid Personal Coffee Maker. Uh, now we'll start off on the top here with the tank. Now the water tank is easily removable and it uh, holds up to 16 ounces of water. You've got an indicator here on the side of the tank. It fills up using this inlet that's on the top and there's a small handle for carrying the tank around. Uh, now again, this is really meant for making one cup of coffee, so you're going to fill this up pretty much every time you go to use it. Now that said, it's only going to use as much water as you happen to put into the tank. So if you only use eight ounces, of course, you're only going to brew eight ounces of water. Uh, as we move down, we have the brew basket. Now the brew basket opens up uh, from the machine very easily by just turning to the side. And this is where you're going to find your gold tone filter. This is one of the primary features uh, noted on the machine is that you have that gold tone filter. Uh, now usually those help to uh, not store a lot of the coffee oils uh, that you find when you're brewing coffee and so therefore you don't get an old uh, coffee taste with that residual oil and uh, other left behind coffee bits that you usually get in most filters. So the gold tone filter is definitely going to help the flavor of your coffee. Moving on down you have the tumbler. Now the tumbler holds up to 18 ounces of coffee. Uh, now, you may be wondering why it holds 18 when the machine brews up to 16 ounces. Well, the easy answer there, of course, is if you want to add cream or sweeteners to your coffee, you don't want to overflow your tumbler. And so it does hold a little bit more than what the machine actually brews. Very useful, obviously, if you want to flavor your coffee. And then uh, finally, when we move to the base of the machine, this is just where the drip tray is. It's very simple. It doesn't have a whole lot of space, and it removes by just taking off this stainless steel tray right here. There's a plastic tray you then take out, and that's where you can empty the water. If you end up dripping a lot of coffee into this, you're going to want to clean this daily because it does not hold a lot of water. That's pretty much the basic features on the machine. On the inside of the machine, it uses what KitchenAid calls optimized brewing technology. And uh, the optimized brewing technology, the idea behind that is to give you, as they say, a hot and rich uh, cup of coffee. I did find that this machine definitely brews very hot, which I, I was impressed by, and the flavor was quite good as well. So now that we've covered the uh, overall features of the machine, let's talk about its operation. The operation of the KitchenAid personal coffee maker is really simple, and this is one of the reasons that I found myself using it a lot every morning because it was just so easy to make a cup of coffee. Uh, now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your water tank off, and you're going to fill that tank up with as much water uh, as you would like to brew coffee. Now, again, it holds up to 16 ounces, but 
if you are to add, let's say, up to 16 ounces, you're definitely going to get not as strong a cup of coffee. But because you can adjust the amount of coffee grounds that you have uh, that you're going to be brewing in, that allows you to also adjust the strength of your coffee. So I will usually go ahead and brew about 16 ounces of coffee. And the reason for that is also that I found that brewing 16 ounces, I could then pour into a couple mugs and I would have a couple cups of coffee, which was great. So you're going to fill your water tank up first. After that, fill up your uh, gold tone filter. Now to do that, I honestly would always just leave it inside of the machine. I'll go ahead and take it out to show you guys as we fill it. Uh, now, again, you can adjust however you would like in order to get the proper uh, amount of uh, flavor that you're looking to get out of your coffee. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up about like I would any drip style machine where I'm going to give myself a little bit extra to work with because I like my coffee strong. And now just drop your gold tone filter back into the brew basket. Close that up, take your tumbler and put it underneath the machine. Uh, now there's something that I should mention real quick uh, as we start brewing and actually we'll go ahead and start brewing by just pressing the button right here on the front of the unit. It's going to beep, that button's going to glow and it's going to let us know it's brewing. Um, now something I should mention is that you don't have to brew into this tumbler. You could brew into any mug that you want as long as it'll fit underneath the brew basket you're good to go. Now as to the speed of the machine, it definitely moves quickly. I'm looking on the side here as I brew, and I've already uh, brewed about four ounces of coffee. I'm down to about 12 ounces of water on the tank. So it does move very quickly. It, um, I found, usually would take just about a couple minutes to brew. It does have to heat up when you first start because it doesn't have a tank that consistently stays hot. So it's just something to keep in mind. You're basically, if you're going to brew with this, you're probably going to want to set it brew, walk away for a moment or two, come back, and you'll have a cup of coffee ready for you. All right, we're all done. Now, this gets really hot. I'm going to tell you, even with this, um, even with the silicone sleeve on the outside, this metal gets extremely hot. So let's see what we've got here temperature-wise. I'm going to take this lid off and use our trusty thermometer. Here we go just a little before 180. So that's not too bad, that's pretty hot. Now the machine will beep three times when it's all done brewing, but I've found that generally you can pull that tumbler out even before you hear those beeps. The machine is done brewing at that point. And yeah, we're coming up about 172 degrees right here. Not too bad, I would have to say, for a drip style coffee machine. It's quite, quite hot, as I say, the one thing I would be careful of if you're going to grab this tumbler and go out the door is that uh, you might burn yourself, in all honesty, on this metal. And that's very, very hot. I would not want to grab this by the metal on the tumbler. So it's something to be careful of when you are actually using this, this machine, just something to keep in mind. But overall, I'd have to say that this is a very impressive little machine. And uh, brews a really nice cup of coffee. I used it straight for about a month, in all honesty, as uh, one of my primary coffee machines. I get up every morning, brew, and I had a great cup of coffee. All right, so finally, let's talk about price on the KitchenAid Personal Coffee Maker. Retailing about $79.99. Um, I do feel like maybe that's a little bit high, but that's just me. But if you really like drip-style coffee, I think that this is a good way to go because you get that ease and convenience of just brewing into a tumbler, being able to get on with your day. Now, if you want to buy this machine, of course, Check out the link in the description here of our video, and that's where you can find out how you can get this machine uh, and add it to your own at-home coffee shop. So the bottom line on the KitchenAid Personal Coffee Maker, a very cool, sleek kind of machine, doesn't take up a whole lot of space on your countertop, has that very easy-to-fill water tank, which is great, lets you vary the amount of water and coffee that's, uh, amount of water you're going to use to make the amount of coffee that you're going to have gives you the ability to make drip style coffee so if you're still a holdout in the world of drip style but you want some single serve convenience this is a good way to go and uh, brews directly into that tumbler which i think is very cool easy to get on the road with it i will say as i say i think maybe the price is a little bit high but the quality of the machine is definitely impressive and finally because it does brew very hot you do need to be careful with that tumbler as I say, I would probably pour this into another mug and then get on with my day because even, again, with that sheath on the outside,
This is very, very, very hot, and it might make it a little hard to drink, especially if you're driving in the car. Remember, don't drink and drive coffee in your car, folks. It can be very, very dangerous unless you have a great on-the-go mug, right? Now, uh, I hope that you guys found that useful. Remember, if you want to find out more information about this machine and many other coffee machines and the world of coffee, join us at aromacup.com. Find out how you can get this machine by looking at the link in the description here in our video. If you have questions, comments, feel free to leave them here in our video. Get in touch with us at aromacup.com. I'm Brian. I thank you guys for joining me in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com, and I'll see you next time. Take care.